Spokane's new police chief is taking over following a particularly violent month in Spokane. In July, police investigated 16 reports of shots fired. Those shootings left two people dead and four wounded. KXY 4's Drew Reeves working for you. He spoke with police today and Drew, they say uh, even though it was pretty violent in July, uh, the public shouldn't worry. That's right, Nadine. Now, this weekend alone, two separate shootings left one person dead and two others injured, and another man was killed in what police are calling an intentional hit and run here on East Central. But even with these uh, incidents happening within days of each other, Spokane police say there's no threat to the community. A violent month in Spokane ending on a deadly note. Yesterday, police say Billy DeLogger intentionally ran a bicyclist over with his vehicle. DeLogger made his first appearance in court today, charged with first degree murder. It was the second homicide of the weekend. I heard a pop, 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 three shots. Police responded to two shootings just blocks away and only hours apart Saturday in West Central Spokane. One of those shootings fatal, the other wounding two people. We don't even see that there's a link between any of these instances. It just happened to be that they were really clumped together. And these shootings putting neighbors on edge. It makes me nervous, um, like coming home late at night, you know, just from work or anything like that. Um, just having it be so close. Police are still searching for suspects in both shootings, but Spokane police say the targets of crimes like these aren't random. And most of these instances, we're not talking about random victims. We are talking about people that know each other. During the month of July, police have seen an increase from year to year in non-domestic violence related aggravated assault. But police say that's common to see during the hot summer months. We have people having barbecues and partying and um, drinking or using substances maybe they shouldn't be using um, and sometimes in excess. And so sometimes we see some of those things maybe spin out of control a little bit more than they would in other months of the year. Fuller also says that aggravated assaults slightly decreased for the entire year from 2014 to 2015. And police are still investigating both shootings and the hit and run. They ask that if you saw or know anything, you call Crime Check at 456-2233. Reporting in Northeast Spokane, Drew Reeves, KXOY 4 News. Thank you, Drew.